Hey everyone, it's your Captain Fletcher, and you're watching the part three. I hope this is going to be the finishing part of rebuilding that surgical table. Yeah, and I'm not just gonna rebuild it. I am, uh, well, going to modify it to make it a folding uh, dining table for my guests at sea. Okay. Before I continue working, well, take a look on previous two parts so that you will get a picture. I'll show you just a little bit here. Okay, so now I have eight seats, just barely, but I was able to get the eight seats out. Well, you know, the difference between the original seats and those that I'm making is just two millimeters in diameter, so... And I was, in this case, I was then able to get eight seats out of this piece of wood. Okay, now let's cut this thing. Eye protection first, safety first, of course. Okay, one down, seven more to go. Okay, this has been done. Rather right have chairs. I should probably grind them all around and everything to make it smooth and completely uh, round. You see here, for example, and here it's not round, but I'm not going to do that. So that everyone will know that I did this myself. And now it's time to do the painting. But first, I need to mark those, you know, those holes where I'm going to need, need to screw this thing on here, right? So I need to mark where the screws go first. Okay, as I said, this is it of a paint job, of a painting part. And this is it for today. Tomorrow, I'll put something else on it. Some good stuff. The wooden ships, you know, ships crossing the sea and everything, and they're made of wood. Well, they use some kind of special stuff uh, to put on to resist everything you know? so that's the, exactly the same stuff i'm going to use and probably i cannot say the name because this might cause uh, problems that's why i'm not saying it anyway this is it for today the paint job is done Let's do one more thing. Let's see what my turtles are doing. 
No, 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 no. I just wanted to show you to the viewers. Okay, this is day two of doing this, rebuilding a surgical table. This is the stuff I mentioned earlier, yesterday for me and earlier for you. And uh, I turn it away from you so that you won't see it. You know why. So that some people just might think uh, I'm making a commercial or something. So that this won't happen, I turn it away from you. Well, I got, I got this thing in a shipyard. This is what they use for ships made out of wood. They cover it with this stuff. Okay, now I have to mix it and I have to prepare something to mix it. And I'm gonna use a bottle because after it, it goes away. And I can make, mix uh, as much as I need at once because in just few minutes it's, it will be hard. It will be useless. So. This is as much as I'm going to close the garage. This, this stuff is very poisonous, you know. Okay, this is it. I see you tomorrow. Okay, today is the day that I need to paint this on the other side. But first, I need to make a quick stop at my vineyard. I need to load up and take away some garbage, trash, waste, however you want to call it. Oh yeah, now I'm going to my vineyard, then I'm going to deal with this. Okay, the trash are going up. Okay, I have returned from uh, my vineyard. I'm going to take all those trash to a dump site, to a recycling plant tomorrow. Today I'm already to it. And now it's time for me to continue with this thing. From the other side, I already put the second layer of this, of this stuff on it overnight, but I didn't record it. So now I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay, this is more or less done. I just need to completely get, um, well, you know, it needs to dry, you know. And uh, overnight, I'm gonna put another layer of this on. And tomorrow, I hope I will assemble the table. First, I need to get all this down and make holes in the frame then I can this is everything so sticky it needs few days to dry it completely but I don't have that much time
now I have to make some holes in this frame for the screws, of course. Those here are important. They need to be in the middle. That's why they are marked. The rest on the sides, it doesn't matter where they are. The old holes that's been welded They've been here, for example, and here, and that's it. And here, of course. Now I'm gonna make my own holes. Anywhere I think it's, well, the right place to make them. Those are the holes for the screws. And for the chairs, they're still, the old holes are still here. That's why I mark the chairs, so I won't miss the holes. So the, Chairs will be in line. They won't be one here, another one here, another one here, 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 here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, now let me make the holes. And I already prepared myself the smallest one I got. Okay, now here comes the fun part, the precise part. If I mess up something here, then this won't open and close properly. So it's all over. I'll have to do it all over again. Okay, the chairs and the frame will survive, but those, the most important part, I'll have to do them again. And I don't want any accidents while I'm tightening this thing down. When I'm screwing it together, I'm gonna use those screws. I bought it just for this project. Only 16 millimeters long. And this is 18. Plus this, those should be perfect. But before I do, I need to make one last check, one last measurements and everything. And I'm gonna take a break and have a smoke before I do anything. I see you later. Okay, those here in the, in the middle, you know, where, where it's fold, those will be the trickiest to get in. That's why I'm gonna put those in first. Okay, I think this part of the table is done. Okay, I think this is done. Now let's check everything. If everything is right, this should flow close and open properly. Okay, it's closing. And then if you open it, yeah, I think they'll do. It's just a little bit of gap here, but that's okay.
Okay, so now I'm gonna mix a little bit more of this stuff, what I got left, uh, just because, well, you see, you see, my fingerprints and everything is now on, because this is not completely dry yet. And uh, of course, I cannot tell you what this stuff is, because somebody just might think I'm promoting something or whatever, so that's no go. But if you're an engineer kind of guy, then you probably know what this is. Or a lady, then you know what this is, yeah. Or if you're just uh, at least a sailor or something, then you know exactly what this is. Okay, it's done. And there is just one more thing I think I haven't mentioned you before about this stuff. When you open the can, it's more or less without color, transparent. It's a little bit blue and that's it. Uh, once you pour it out, you start mixing it and stuff, it gets uh, a little bit brown, you add this other thing inside it becomes like green yellow something in between something like that yeah and it started to harden the harder it is the more green it is but once it's almost hard that means you only have just a little bit of time to use it it became like this red really red and uh, of course while it completely dries it uh, i mean not dries it uh, hardens and completely hardens it's uh, uh like yellow orange uh, something like this something in between uh and once it's uh completely dry then it has no color again it's completely transparent now I'll leave this outside to harden, then I'll throw all this away. There's just one thing I think I forgot to mention about this stuff that I just put on. Uh, when they use this in a shipyard, they apply this on a ship or any kind of vessel uh, overnight because it needs to be away from the sun, protected from the sun for at least three days so when they apply it overnight then they cover the ship and uh, if you ever see uh, something uh, that looks like a huge tent in a shipyard well a ship is underneath and they leave it there for three days, but just to make sure, they usually leave it there for about a week. Then they take it off and leave the ship standing there for about a month. And uh, one more thing. Now you see, there is no more fingerprints or any kind of whatever on it. So now I'm going to leave it inside the garage for the next few days. Then I'm going to take it out and leave it outside until I go to sea. But I don't know when this will be. This uh, Corona just, this COVID-19 bullshit messed up everything. And I mean everything. Even my project at sea of making myself a vacation resort is now on hold okay probably i'm not going to record anymore of this project since this project is done so i'm just going to clean up this mess a little bit and that's it you like it it used to be a surgical table a military surgical table 
they use it on the field. But now I rebuilt it and modified it into a dining table. Well, let me show you. It almost hardened. And you see, it's boiling. And it's reddish now. This is why... Uh, this is why it, um, it needs to be away from the sun for three days. You see, this is a chemical reaction. And this just might explode. It just might detonate. That's why I'm going to move my car away and uh, cover it, but just in case. When I'm doing something, some things always go wrong. I almost made a bomb. <laughs> or maybe I did. It's not red anymore. It's more like orange and it's turning yellow. So it's almost dry. I mean hard. Yeah, I know. I almost made a bomb out of it. And it's easy to make a bomb out of this stuff, you know? You can turn it in explosive easily. Damn, it's producing heat, a lot of heat. But I'm not gonna touch it for hours. Now you see why this stuff is dangerous and why not everyone can get it. It may be turned into explosive. This is why you can only get this stuff in a shipyard or in some special stores, but you need uh, a captain's license for it, to get this stuff. Now I have to wash my hair. My granny is insisting. I can do it myself, but my granny is insisting she's going to do it. She's like, mm, you've been working down there for days, all days, we, 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 we. What can I do? I have to. I have to do what my granny tells me to do, right? I'm here living with my granny to taking care of her. But sometimes it looks like it's uh, more like uh, she's taking care of me. I just wanted to say I hope you like this video of how I do stuff, of how I do everything just, just me, by myself. Uh, you may comment on this video. I would appreciate some comments. And if you're new around here, well then you are more than welcome to subscribe. So you just might learn something, some more things, how to do things and everything if you're gonna watch my videos. And if you help me to get to 10,000 uh, subscribers, I would really appreciate it. But for that, you would need to share this video or a few others. Until the next time, I was your Captain Furcho and I see you in the next video. Captain Furcho is out.